Okay, this is a tutorial on standard access lists for the Cisco CCNA. I've set up a network here, and we've got the one network over here, 192.168.1. We've got the two network over here, 192.168.2. And then in between these two routers, we've got the 192.168.3 network, slash 30, and the router here is 3.1 and then 3.2 right here, right? Now I've set up static routes on the routers and here's the commands I used to set up the, to set up the static routes. On R0 here's the command, so that's R0. And then for R1 here's the command that set up the static route for R1, right? And so if the static routes work, we should be able to ping across the network. So we'll test that out. So we'll open up and saying ping 192.168.1.100 and we're pinging from this computer right here to the yellow network and you can see here we're, it's going to take some time for um, ARP to work but now you can see it's working right so we got it right off the bat we can ping from the 2.100 over to 1.100 and let's try this other just to prove that it works we'll just move this over here ping 192.168 okay and you can see that that one's working also okay so we have network connectivity going across so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write an access list and the access list that we're gonna write is gonna block 2.101 from pinging or for contacting the one network okay but the access list is going to allow 2.100 so we're going to allow this host right here 2.100 but we're going to block this host so we'll just say here we're going to we're going to permit this guy right here and we're going to deny this guy here and we're going to do it with a standard access list so what is an access list an access list is a rule that we can use to filter traffic across the router. It's also a way basically of implementing a firewall on the router. We can use an access list as a firewall to deny certain types of um, traffic. And with a standard access list, right, with a standard access list what we can deny is we can deny IP addresses, source IP addresses from traversing the router or crossing the router. Okay? So it's basically, uh, the access list helps us to make basically a firewall, and a standard access list helps us to uh, permit or deny based on a source IP address. So how do we do it? Well, I'm going to grab this really quickly. Steps. All right. Steps. There's two steps to create an access list. One, you've got to create the access list, and we're going to start with just simple standard access list, standard access list or extended access list and with this tutorial we're going to do standard access lists so and then step two is to apply the access list to an interface on the router either inbound or outbound okay so we're gonna to have to apply it inbound and outbound or outbound so if we're gonna put the um, access list let's say, let's say on R0 right here we could either put it on this interface F00 or we could put it on this interface, FA0 slash 1. And it could be inbound going into the router, or it could be outbound going out of the router. And on this interface, same thing. It could be inbound headed towards the router, or outbound coming out of interface FA0 slash 1. Okay, so one, create the access list, standard. Two, apply the access list to an interface, inbound or outbound. All right, now, next thing. drag this out right here all right standard access list or standard ACL is going to get the number 1 through 99 those are the there's also a uh, 2000 to 2699 but let's just focus on 1 through 99 to start with so standard ACL 1 through 99 is the number and this is the rule a standard, if it's a standard ACL, it's applied closest to the destination. If it's an extended ACL, 
numbers 100 through 199, it's applied closest to the source. Okay, so standard, closest to the destination, extended, closest to the source. Well, okay, so how's that going to work? Well, if, um, if this is the source, we're going to, we're basically going to be denying or permitting from the two network over here. So this is the source, right? The addresses will be 2.100 or 2.101. Then this is the destination getting to the one network over here. So in this case, source, destination. So we're going to apply this ACL closest to the destination, which means it'll be this router and it won't be this interface, it'll be this interface because this interface right here is closest to the destination of the one network. And what are we trying to block? We're trying to block the two, the source will be the two, and the destination will be the one, and this will be the interface that's closest to the destination. So now we know where we're going to need to write our access list. We're going to write the access list on R0, and we know what interface it's going to be, and it's going to be outbound. So let's just write that down really quickly here. So we'll say the ACL will be on R0, all right? And then the interface will be FA0 slash 1 outbound, okay? Now, it's outbound means coming out of the router. So on this interface, outbound. And we're going to put the ACL on R0 right here. And these are the commands that we're going to be using to write the access list over here. And then over here, this is a little more explanation about the access list. The standard ACL, once again, numbers 1 through 99, it either denies or permits a source IP address. And we already said, in this case, the source IP address will be coming from the 2 network, right? Now, an extended ACE access list or extended ACL 100 through 199 denies or, permi or permits source IP address. It can also deny or permit based on destination IP address. So it has a source, a destination IP address, and it can also deny or permit based on the port or the service. So you could deny, let's say, Telnet on port 23. Right, And with an extended ACL, you're going to put a source IP address, a destination IP address, and a port or service. Uh, not necessarily the port or service, but at least the source and the destination IP addresses. Okay, The optional for the um, port or service. Okay, so that's a little bit about that, right? And, and then here are the commands that we're going to be using, and we'll write that up right now. And it's actually pretty easy to do. Okay, here we go. So we're going to open up R0, and we'll go here like this, and we'll go like that. Enable conf t to get to global config mode. All right, let's change the host name so we know which um, router we're talking about here, R0. And time for the access list. So line 1, access-list. And then you have to give it, once you say access list, you're going to have to give it the number. And we're going to make this a standard ACL by choosing a number of 1. If we chose a number of 100, it would be uh, an extended ACL. But we're going to use the number 1, which is a standard ACL number. So we'll say access list 1. So this will be access list 1. And then we're going to say, um, we'll actually put a question mark so you can kind of see the commands options here. So once we put access list 1, you can see it's either deny, permit, or uh, remark, uh, comment. So what we'll do is we'll say, okay, access list 1, deny, and then we're going to put the IP address. So we're going to say 192.168.2.101. That's who we want to block. And then we have to put the subnet mask, but actually it's not the subnet mask, it's actually wildcard bits. So it's the inverse of a subnet mask. So in this case, it would actually be to block one host, just one host, which is what we're trying to do, block one host, just this guy right here. We're going to put 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. Okay. Now, if we wanted to block a whole network, let's say the whole 2 network, we would put 2.0, and then we'd put the wildcard bits 
0.0.0.255, like that. But we don't. We just want to block one host, so we're going to put 101 here. Whoops. That's 0, and that's 101. So 2.101 and 0, 0.0.0, which will allow us to block one host. All right. We'll hit Enter. And on the next line, access dash list one, we're going to permit anything else. So we put access dash list one, permit any. Okay, and we'll hit end. All right, and that's it for our access list. We'll do control C, we'll do a show run, and we'll tab tab and you can see there's our access list deny this host and take a look what it did it changed the line from deny the number and then 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 to host and then the number now we could have also written the command in just that way we could have said deny host 192.168.2.101 but instead we put the number and then 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 for the wildcard bits okay so now that we've done that, right, we have done step one, we've created the access list. Now we need to apply the access list to the interface. And we've already said it's going to be FA01 outbound. So that's this interface right here. So we'll say conf t to get to global config, interface FA0 slash 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to say IP access-group, right, and then we'll put a question mark here, and then we have to put, it says the IP access list standard or extended, the number, so we put IP access group, our access list is number one, so we put IP access-group one, and then we're going to put a question mark, and it says in or out, and so we're doing out, so IP access-group one out, all right, so there we go, control C, Let's do a show run. You can see that that's applied on the interface, right? So this is interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, and there's the command applied on the interface. And so this is good to go now. So now, this is a done deal. So now what we can do is, on this host, as you can see, on the host 100, we should be able to still ping which we can, right? And from this host 2.101, you can see destination host unreachable. The router replied and said, uh-uh, host is unreachable from 3.1. So the reply came right back from here and said, the router said, nope, can't do it. 